Welcome to Amazing World Channel. European stocks moved slightly higher on Tuesday morning as political concerns eased slightly, and investors focused on data releases. The pan-European stock 600 was 0.09% up with most sectors higher in early trading. Germany's stock exchanges were closed for a national holiday. Basic resources led the gains following rating upgrades in the sector. French multinational Imeries rose 2% after investment bank Brian Garnier Company gave the stock to a buy recommendation. Banking stocks were also higher after record closes on Wall Street following upbeat economic data. In Spain, stocks edged slightly higher after falling sharply on Monday following a non-binding referendum vote in Catalonia. The government in Madrid has said that it wants to work with other parties to resolve the issue of Catalan independence. Looking across the European benchmark stock 600 index, the British firm Ferguson rose to the top, up by more than 3%. This after it announced a $500 million $663 million share buyback due to higher profits. Multinational advertising and public relations company WPP was among those at the bottom of the benchmark, down by 2%. After putting up to 22.5 million shares for sale on Monday, Ericsson and BAE Systems also fell 2.3 and 2.1 percent respectively, after rating downgrades. Meanwhile, Asian stocks were under pressure due to lower oil prices. Brent fell 0.4 percent to $55.89 and WTI dropped 0.3% to $50.44 on Tuesday amid signs that a global glut is taking longer to tackle than most had hoped. The Bank of Australia decided Tuesday to keep its rates unchanged. Not a scientific survey. Results may not total 100% due to rounding. In the corporate world, Uber's new global chief Dara Khosrowshahi is in London Tuesday to meet with Transport for London, after the regulator said the company couldn't operate in London. Syngenta received a BBB classification from SP, which said that the Chinese government may not support the company with litigation issues. UK Main Street Bakery Greggs said Tuesday that his liquor-for-like sales rose 5% in the 13 weeks to September up 2.8% on the year. On their data front, there will be construction PMIs in the UK, and the Bank of England will release minutes from its latest financial policy committee meeting. Later, there will be retail sales numbers in the US. In currency markets, the dollar extended gains as traders become more bullish. The dollar was 0.18% higher at 93.727 against a basket of foreign currencies at about 8.30 a.m. London time.